tractors. I'm in a clover field that we had weed in and uh, came in in the early spring and spread some clover on and then it comes right after the, we take the weed off and take a cutting off in the fall. It works out pretty good. Nice thick, nice thick clover in most spots. So keep mowing. Got quite a bit of uh, hay on the ground to bail. Let's get to it. Wednesday, we're back chopping corn. Got most of this field uh, off. Oh, about two thirds of it done. The one that we started on Sunday. And then we uh, mowed for two days with all three mowers. And my uncle just finished up mowing the last 20 acres, the last two fields here at home of fourth cutting the bale. I'm just waiting on uh, this one to get loaded up. And just about got a 250 foot bag full today. So going pretty good. It's about four o'clock or so. So we'll probably get her just filled and uh, be about quick time. are a little bit dirty. Fresh oil, dirty windows. Friday night right now it's about oh, 8 39 o'clock um, I got a flat tire on the rake I was running so I had to come home but my mom's still raking with a single windrow rake had a flat tire three times on the same wheel today on the one tire on this other rake there's two guys uh, custom round bailing right now and me and, me and dad are currently uh unloading two loads of corn silage from the other bag and it's kind of a slow day but got a, all the third cutting hay which third and we have two fields of fourth cutting hay all of it uh is getting round baled and wrapped so we got started on that so let's get to it So today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. I didn't film anything. I was picking bales up most of the day. Had a soccer game in the middle of the day also. We ended up with about 550 uh, round bales that uh, we got made and we put them all, we wrapped them all. There are six rows of them over there. So talk to you more later about it let's get to it we finished doing all this tubing last night i think we had like a row and a half done before yesterday this last row that's just a little bit longer than these other five is 101 bales so these other ones are about 90 or so so it's just a machine that picks up the bale you put the bale in and it slowly pushes the bale out or it actually pushes the machine forward the bales don't move and it just wraps layers of plastic around it to keep it uh to keep it out of the weather and uh keep it out of the weather so we finished a little after nine o'clock last night it was actually raining from about seven it was like a heavy heavy sprinkle light rain from about seven o'clock to uh to about nine there and then by the time we got done it was done raining and then we got quite a bit of rain overnight so i'm glad we got all the bales picked up uh pretty uh pretty heavy uh third crop had two fields of fourth here at home but it amounted to quite a bit about as much as second did in most of the fields so we're just putting sawdust in the big barn right now 
Well, uh, we used this uh, New Holland L220 to pick bales up with. Yesterday I was running it most of the day and my uncle picked bales up while I was at my soccer game for about two hours. And we put nine hours on this skid loader yesterday and went through about a fuel tank and a tenth. So she got ran pretty good. Probably should have put the door back on. Got a bunch of uh, hay and stuff in here, all wet hay, but it'll be all right. Let's get to it. Got the two new Hollands here at home. Dad's working on feeding right now. So, got a load out of the pit so uh, Dwayne can scrape in the morning. Probably haul it, but it's a little on the wet side. We'll just wait until tomorrow probably, unless Dad wants to haul it somewhere. But uh, other than that, go edit a video for you guys. And probably be a day. And we'll finish chopping corn and maybe start planting wheat hopefully this week. If it ever dries up, it looks like we got quite a bit of rain coming. But I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.